Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is James from Crenshaw Central Gaming and we're continuing our walkthrough of Dead Island. Um, I had to redo the audio for this particular video because the audio when I was recording it was kind of shot. Um, in the last episode we went and walked around the hotel a little bit and found a set of keys that allowed us to complete the side quest gold digger and after we got done with that we went and helped um, Lori Weaver and her husband who was involved in a wreck. In this particular episode we're going to go help Mr. Harlan Johnson who is right now trapped inside that building we see in front of us. We got about six zombies we have to kill before we can actually get to um, Mr. Johnson. So we're going to hop out of the truck and we're going to take care of these rather easy. Um, we got like I said, we got about six here. Um, there's really not much to these. That one sits there and jumped on us like it was, thought it was going to get away with it, but we showed him who was boss. Now, what I found odd about these three here is while I was killing one, none of the others came to attack me. I found that somewhat mind-boggling and somewhat extremely interesting at the same time. And as I go to try to kill this one, I figured what the heck I go to chop off her head and instead it used the butt of my weapon to beat her in the back of the head. Hey! Now all we gotta do now is just open up the door Come closer. and talk to Mr. Harlan. Found some wheels, but Something's wrong with the engine because I didn't get very fucking far. I knew I had to get inside somewhere fast and came up on this place, but phew, it's locked up tight in a nun's asshole. Could you see if there's another way in? I'm sure there's all kind of crap we might find useful in there. Okay, so basically what he wants us to do is help him get inside the hut. Um... This is a fairly easy, fairly simple side quest. There really ain't much to it. So we're going to accept it and go ahead and get right. started with it. Okay. I'll wait here by the front. Watch yourselves. Who knows what you'll find in there? Sure don't smell too pretty. Okay, now the easiest way I have found to get in as we come back to our truck that looks like it's been in more fights than um well never mind forget that because it wasn't very funny but we're going to park it as close to this fence as we can we're going to jump in the back of the truck on top of the truck and jump over the fence now sometimes there'll be something out here in these houses, these huts that we might want. The only thing that was over here was that pipe there. We used the pipe in the er earlier in the games. Really didn't do much. But I'm going to open up my inventory and I am going to get my crowbar <coughs> that I got, I believe I got in a, the previous episode and put it in my, um, weapon wheel and I'm going to grab the crowbar and get inside of this door which we just have to ram our shoulder in a couple of times and when we get in we see a workbench so I'm going to come over to the workbench and I'm going to repair all my weapons now there's several of them that needed to be repaired and I'm going to go over and I'm going to upgrade my 
crowbar do I have all my weapons at three bubbles, three stars, three circles, whatever you want to call them. And I open up this door and when I walk around the corner I see a thug. Now what surprised me about this thug is he just like the three zombies at the fence he does not fight back. He sits there and he takes the blows like a man. Um, but all I need is about one more hit and he's a dead one. Now he's carrying a set of keys that I'm going to need in order to open up that door. We still haven't reached a uh, lockpick skill level 2. Um, when we get done with Act 1 is when I'm going to go through and upgrade my player. And I'll explain all of that when I get there. Um, I see I open up that crate there and it gives us another crowbar. Don't really need it. I go in the bathroom. There's, like I said before, there's hardly ever anything in the bathroom. But I pick up a lighter. And I look around to see if there's anything else I might want. I look at the... Um, go back to the workbench. And... I think the reason why I came here was to see what kind of weapons I can create. The only thing I can create is a Dio Bomb. I've never actually used a Dio Bomb. I may use one in this recording, in this series, just to exactly see what it's like. I'll pick up that fun fact. I'll go ahead and I'll open up the door. And when I do... I talk to Mr. Harlan one more time as soon as he gets inside the the building and now let's talk to him. Ooh, I wondered what the hell happened to you. I guess it wasn't the dead I smelled, but just the damp and mildew. Okay, he gives us a strong baseball bat. I probably wind up dropping it later on because I'm not a real big fan of it but we'll take it and we'll talk to uh, Mr. Harlan one more time I'm an airline pilot and I was staying at the hotel I was on my way to the airport and this is as far as I got so for now the shack will have to do I got food I got water but the only electricity comes from a gas powered generator I need more gas, and otherwise I'm going to be sitting my ass in the dark. Eventually the situation will settle, but until then, you think you could help me out? Okay, so he wants us to go and find him two cans of gas at the gas station. Um, this is going to be another fairly easy Definitely. one. Now down the hill is a gas station. You bring me two cans of gas, and I'll pay you for it. And the reason why I say it's going to be fairly easy is because of the fact that I've done taking care of a lot of the stuff that was already down there. So I'm going to back my truck out, backed it out too far and tried to turn too much. And we're going to make the short drive down to the second gas station and get these two um, two gas cans uh, when I got to that sign there I thought I was close but I'm still about a hundred and oh, still about 150 meters away but here we are um, if y'all remember from when we did water dance and all of that, the gas cans are right in this tin barn looking thing. We'll kill some, run over some of these zombies. And I'm going to back my truck up to the uh, back of the, the barn. I probably could have backed up a little bit closer. 
I got a thug here. He's going to sucker punch me one good time. Take away almost all my health. But no need to fear. I need probably about three licks on him. And when I get my three licks, I level up and my health goes back to normal. I pick up $61 from one of the people I ran over. I and I'm going to grab one and just throw it in the back of my truck. I come back to getting hit by one. I take that $17 and we got another thug there. He's going to sucker punch me one good time. Take away a lot of my health. Um, so instead of worrying about him, I'm just going to grab the second gas can, throw it in the truck and be on my way um but as you can tell this particular uh, side quest was a lot easier than some of the ones I have done um I tried to run over that guy but apparently I wasn't going very fast but we're going to make our way back to um, Harlan Johnson, and we're going to drop off the the gas cans, and we're going to end this video. Um, but as you can see, we are right here at it, so. I'm trying to back it up to where I ain't got to go as far to, to walk with these things. I probably could have backed up another 5 or 10 feet, but you see the little shadow spots. That's where we need to put them. Um, I don't know what happened there. I grabbed it and for some reason went back in the truck and I didn't know it until I went to drop it but that's no big deal I'll turn around get it go back drop it off and talk to Harlan one more time cool beans you should keep the lights on for quite a while here yeah. take some cash <laughs> ain't doing me any good here anyway Okay, Harlan's giving us $413 for our troubles, and we're going to talk to him yet again. And this is why I like Harlan better than I do talking to Mike. So, let's see exactly what Harlan's going to offer us. One of them infected freaks is to set the some bitch on fire. They turn into crispy critters, and that is fucking it for them. I can make a couple Molotovs for you with the gasoline <coughs> you brought me. Uh, you can take out a couple of those bastards at once. All I need are some empty bottles. And if there's whiskey in them, hell, that's even better. Okay, so if we bring Harlan three bottles of alcohol, he will give us a Molotov. With Mike, we had to bring five. So these are cheaper. Let's so. Do this. I'm gonna go I ahead and whiskey or grain alcohol or anything like that and I'll fix you right up. Get some from Harlan. I open up my inventory to see how many alcohol how much alcohol I got. As you can see I got nineteen bottles of alcohol. I went went on ahead and dropped my baseball bat because I wanted to make sure I had enough for the Molotov. Get me a couple bottles of whiskey and I'll make you Molotov cocktails. And he's going to basically say the same thing over and Get over and over again. Bottles of whiskey and I'll make you Molotov cocktails. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the conversation this time and 
close the video and say once again I do appreciate y'all watching as you see I have now have seven Molotovs those will come in handy at the beginning of act two um, but I do thank y'all for watching this has been James from Crenshaw Central Gaming saying thank you um, um, Go ahead and check out some of our other videos. Uh, we have some videos that my friend John did of us playing GTA, of us playing uh, Left 4 Dead. My friend Andrew, who was a big contributor to the video to this channel at the beginning, go and watch some of his videos. I have links to both of their personal pages and the description below and I'll have them in all the descriptions of every video I post um, but uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel we would greatly appreciate it hit that like button below and come join me next time as we continue our journey through Act 1 on the island of Benoit as we continue to play Dead Island. Y'all have a good one and come back and see me. Thank you.